Let's go! Episode 47. Watching the world burn. Let's get straight into it. Weasel News. Three children dubbed the little rascals are kids of robbing Houston Bank. Juveniles aged 11, 12, and 16 were caught on camera robbing a Wells Fargo Bank in oh. Houston. <laughs> How do you successfully a robot bank nowadays? Because that's why you got so many security. Maybe it's one of those ones where they don't really care. They just literally go. Yeah, probably. <laughs> they, they, they probably assumed they were making a withdrawal and they just didn't notice the gun. Or because it's Houston, they, they probably all carry guns. So they're like, oh yeah, here you go, here's your money. And they just thought nothing of it. They passed a threatening note to a bank teller and right. they fled on foot with an undisclosed stack of cash. The undisclosed stack of cash is what makes you think. Because they're like 11 <laughs> 12 16 he might have passed give me 12 dollars <laughs> It's not even the undisclosed cash that's getting me. It's the, yeah. they fled on foot. <laughs> <Not the control>. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't play GTA San Andreas. They could have gone on bikes. Oh, or scooters. <laughs> no, <'cause they're> like... <laughs> oh, that's so joke, bro. <laughs> They're just out here in the corner shop buying them and just ooh, balling out. <laughs> this is more serious. Man dies after colleague pumps air into his rectum. This is a story from India. Why? The, the land where they use epoxy no, instead of no. condoms. In my head right now, all I'm hearing is, I've got a bit of tomato sauce stuck. Can you help me get it out? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> all right, go on, break it down. What oh, happened? This story is not any less suspect. This dude was cleaning himself off with an air compressor after working in a mill. One of his colleagues decided to play a prank on him, quotation marks, and basically shoved the air compressor up his rectum because it was dirty. He ended up expiring because of septicemia. However, my question is, how do you even get to that point where someone can shove it there? Did he go... Oh shoot, I dropped some stuff no. there in front of you. <laughs> That's my, my, my earlier comment. Because yeah, but when you why think would about you it, go in and not out. Maybe it's just logic. Or was he trying to it? He fills it up and then it shoots out with the rest <laughs> of the air. <laughs> Like the like the way that the the way that the brown champagne happened. <laughs> Just the gas <laughs> <was half>. <laughs> <laughs> That's my theory. <laughs> How do you even get to a stage where you can insert it there? I mean, it's one of those nudist ones where they've just got no clothes on. Oh, <laughs> that's oh. the <laughs> Yeah, exactly. It seems suspect. While we're in India, I've got this one for you. This dead man fears for his life <laughs> and seeks an AK-47 license because he needs to defend himself. That dude looks like, what's his name? Was Charles Brunson, was it? The old school actor. <laughs> <laughs> with a tan. <laughs> yes. <laughs> This guy's called Lao. Lao. I, I'm not going to pronounce it. Let's just call him Lao. Let's call him Death Wish for now. No, he's got the opposite of a Death Wish. He's got an Alive <laughs> Wish. So here's what happened. Back in 1975, he goes to yeah. get a loan. Yeah. He gets denied. Like, why am I being denied? He goes, because you're officially dead. What had happened was his uncle yeah. had bribed someone to provide an official death certificate so yeah. that he can steal his land. Despite oh. him like, literally being in the place, going like, it's not me. Like, I'm literally like, <laughs> clearly yeah. not dead. That's how they used to roll. So, like, they're being strict with the rules and all sorts. So, at this point, yeah. they're like, you can't do nothing. Obviously, mm. he's got no ID at this point. He's got no yeah. land. So, he tries to just play the game. But then what he mm. does is he sets up his own funeral and attends it. However, here's where he got mugged off. So, on one yeah. side, they're saying, you're dead. So we can't do anything. So then he tries yeah. to claim widow's benefit for his wife. And they're like, no, we can't give you that. But obviously they can't say why, because then they'd have to admit that he's alive. Yeah. This dude even ran for prime minister. He gets to the point where <laughs> what? he's losing his shit, bro. So yeah. he just ends up kidnapping his uncle's son, like his nephew. Oh, uh, he went in, all in. In order for the police to come and arrest him. But here's the joke yeah. thing. Police knew what he was doing, so they just left him man, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, it took him 19 years, 19 years, bro, for him to be able to reinstate it as a life person. And then oh, he damn. then goes on to form the Association of Dead People, which is basically... <laughs> a, a, yeah, 
Because apparently <laughs> there's tens of thousands of people that it happens to on a regular basis. Oh, that's crazy, though. So, you know what I'm suing? I'm suing the yeah. people who denied my widow's benefit because somebody yeah, has real. to say up something. I've, I'm suing them both <laughs> at the same time. And then oh, we got we got sued by this dead person. Ooh, spooky! <laughs> <laughs> no, but you see what I mean? If you sue them yeah. both at the same time, one of them is yeah. gonna win. One of them yeah. has to either admit you're dead and therefore pay out mm. your widow's pensions, or admit you're alive. And yeah, happen. that's what he's saying. Speaking of people and their funerals, I think I've seen the future of you. Your funeral. My guy just texting away, bro. <laughs> he's <Who's gonna> pretend. <laughs> oh, he's, he's legit texting. Hey, what's, this? what's going on? <laughs> Hold on, I need, I need. What's the backstory to this? I need to know, bro. I wish I knew. <laughs> Maybe he was another guy that was trying to do the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Running his phone. He's getting it in because there's no reception in hell. <laughs> <laughs> He's too busy to die. <laughs> I forgot to clear his search history. <laughs> <laughs> Candy Crush Saga is so addictive. <laughs> <laughs> Or maybe he was posting the, the video from the funeral on Instagram. <laughs> My last word, bitches. <laughs> Jokes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Fury as Texas man who shot wife Patricia Birmingham dead on camera after discovering her affair is sentenced to just 10 years in prison for her murder and will be eligible for parole in five. So this guy is 60 years old, shot his wife 48 after he discovered she had an affair under the still from it. <laughs> Worse. <laughs> the reason why he only got 10 years is because he got classified under a crime of passion. Right? You can clearly see his piece. Like, he blurred <laughs> out. That's really why he got the crime of passion. Because he's hard at the time. <laughs> <laughs> and at 60 years old to get hired, he probably got pissed because he took Viagra. He was waiting for his wife. Then he found out about the, about the affair. And he's like, what? <laughs> But you know what, yeah? I'm not saying it's right, but yeah. his verdict seems fair. It was an old reason. female jury, apparently. Maybe not even fair. Because there was this woman that stabbed her boyfriend in the crime of passion like a hundred and something times. Uh, yeah, and I heard about that. For community service. Because she's a woman, she got a lighter sentence than she. <laughs> like I they do. Oh, because I think that one blamed it on taking weed or something. Or eating. Oh, wait, this guy can't blame well. it on Viagra. <laughs> <laughs> The blood was elsewhere. Well, I couldn't speak. No, he can't because apparently there was some studies recently done that say that Viagra reduces the chance of Alzheimer's. Yeah, that's why I take it. So, <laughs> if, she, so if you see old men with hard ones all of a sudden everywhere, just ignore <laughs> it. Trying to get directions. <laughs> like, literally on man. the video, dude says, all right, goodbye, you're going to meet Jesus. I hope it was worth it. I don't know how well I can trust Jesus, though. <laughs> the reason I can't is because it leads me to this post. Jesus can cure all sickness. So you see this guy here, yeah? Yeah. Jesus cures him. There he is. And he's cured. (laughs) 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 Oh, that's so wrong and so (laughs) The comments, yeah? (laughs) My guy went from Jamal to James. Gross credit core jumped. <laughs> you just gave him rice and teeth. <laughs> I even know he's a teeth and <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> just wipe his criminal record right there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this one, this comment right here, bro. What's the point of giving someone the ability to swim in the desert? <laughs> This is a Chinese video of like them selling sneakers, like fake sneakers. Look at the dude in the background. Tell me if you see something odd about him. (laughs) (laughs) You could have got him gloves. You could have literally got him gloves. 
the comments are, he looks like he's from San Andreas. <laughs> Bro is in low definition. Bro bro has that PS2 face. Right, that that does, bro. But here's what you didn't notice about this thing, yeah? Yeah. You see the mask? Kanye East. You know what's joke about that, yeah? Yeah. That's legit a Kanye mask. There it is in the actual (laughs) thing, bro. Yeah. See, that's where... Yeah. <laughs> the comments. Why? What is that Kanye robbing me? <laughs> you, is it racist if you wear this? I said literally every Scooby Doo episode. <laughs> I'd be I mad as hell if I look back and three Kanye's robbing me. All <laughs> 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 the styles robbed by Kanye. Wear. <laughs> Since we're gonna segue to Kanye related stuff, I think Adidas have an issue and they tried to pin it on Kanye. <laughs> How would this get through if it wasn't an Adidas free <laughs> <laughs> oh. I did that. I stopped using the number 44 on Germany's jersey due to claims that it resembles Nazi imagery. There are seven other controversial kits that have been banned in the past. Bro, <laughs> bro, I'm not the only one that sees it, right? The German company, right? <laughs> they knew what they were doing. <laughs> They knew what they were doing with that 40. Honestly, did they just go, I dedicate this to my granddad? <laughs> oh, that's so joke, bro. While yeah. we're in the clothes thing, and while we're talking about Kanye and how Adidas, I think mm. Kanye was influenced by Adidas and then just went on his thing, bro. He just went a bit rogue, and Adidas was like, oh, hold on, we got to tone it down, bro. Yeah. Just, let me show you the new Kanye shirts. Oh, <laughs> That is so <laughs> suspect. <laughs> you literally, like the top one, right? It's literally like one of the things is in the wrong spot. Yeah, the that bottom of it. the E. Yeah. But hold on, there's the other design. <laughs> that doesn't look suspect at all. <laughs> but just in case you had any doubt as to how it was going to play out. <laughs> <laughs> what the... <laughs> must be trolling, right? <laughs> At this stage, must be trolling, right? Has to be, bro. <laughs> How are they getting away? <laughs> to be fair, he's fully independent. He could do whatever the hell he wants. Yeah. yeah. This and is what fuck you money actually looks like, bro. I think there are laws against actual swastikas, which is why the um, neo Nazis never use a proper one, I guess. They just always use one that just resembles. They always just use Kanye West shirts nowadays, I guess. <laughs> Maybe that's who it's going after. Because <laughs> then he yeah, makes them hypocrites. The market, right? <laughs> it's all part of his master plan. <laughs> <laughs> Bruv, I know how he cures people of racism. <laughs> that shit. Oh, no. <laughs> kind of uh, people actually taking out racism. <laughs> By being uh, super racist. Oh, that's so bad. Huh? <laughs> In the group chat, we like to send ourselves random sports. This week's segment of random sports, donkey basketball. Bro, this looks <laughs> <a> joke. <laughs> travel. How you travel? <laughs> That's a travel, right? How you? <laughs> the donkey was <laughs> disgusted with him. He's like, kick it off me, bro. You can't do that. He's much taller than he would be in person. How you doing <laughs> <No>, that? <yeah. laughs> We're on the random sports. The judo champion in the Czech Republic just KO'd herself in the cage. <laughs> I can already tell this is going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro, look at the size difference. Like, bro. she's not even bothered, bro. And then, boom. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. How did they even end up in the same weight class? And this guy said, UFC? Nah, KFC. <laughs> <laughs> Diabetes <laughs> one. <laughs> My guy said, Connor McDonald. <laughs> this guy dropped it on us. Is the cage okay? <laughs> <laughs> I would ask how she's judo champ, but ain't no way gonna be anybody gonna be able to toss her. 
said it though. Is this Judo or Sumo? <laughs> the type of rap. <laughs> oh, oh, that's mad. That's not gonna lie. When you showed me her, I was expecting one of these. <laughs> 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 you know what's bad, yeah? With the referee, the referee impact, but him bouncing. <laughs> <laughs> he got taken out by the shockwaves. The guy standing up in the green shirt. Yeah. He's like, I bound this fight. What's going on? Who won? <laughs> Just so we're not being accused of laughing at obese, please, people. <laughs> No, because he's black, he's a no big <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's joke. He's actually moving pretty well, but like, look at his face. It's like, like Homer. Something. It's like, it's like, the yeah, thing. but like, <laughs> fucking Rav, his tits are bouncing up and down. Like, oh, I'm look, look at the, you. look at the bitch, you like, to it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that gif is killing me, bro. <laughs> Muhammad Ali. <laughs> Pinky toes. <laughs> but you know what, yeah? This guy's going to be a beast once he gets into shape because he's training with extra weight, bro. Isn't it, though? <laughs> so he's going to be moving mad. Bro, he's already moving mad. That's in all mean. honesty, his footwork's right. on point. Unlike this guy. This guy's trying to jump and dunk on the rim. He's standing on a chair, step one, and then step two, uh-huh. dunk. <laughs> yeah, right? just grab and jump the rim. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> but the comments are just going in on this guy, bro. Bro, jump inside out. <laughs> Unjumping is crazy, bro. His vertical <laughs> is negative six. <laughs> uh, that from 3D to 2D real quick. <laughs> 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 that jump cancel was crazy. He owed gravity some money and it came to said not today young man <laughs> <laughs> but my favorite one is bro broke all three of newton's laws and the chair <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, bro. <laughs> the chair went <laughs> my legs <laughs> <laughs> someone said the bit you can't jump down <laughs> in the Y axis. Technically, <laughs> <laughs> you might have actually got high enough on the, on the wrong axis. This guy is vertically and horizontally challenged. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> 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 and on that note, let's call it, bro. <laughs>